Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we are installing the brand new Alpha Rex new aggressive headlights and we're going to be replacing the OEM one. The hardest part of this install is going to be removing this freaking wide body kit. I got an underglow kit, so a bunch of wires. I got a strobe light kit, a bunch of wires down there. Freaking splitters mounted to the chassis. I got a bumper. I got the wide body kit, a bunch of stuff to uninstall just to get to the headlights. But once we get to the head, once everything's removed, super straightforward to swap. Let's begin this video. pretty much released everything but these little bolts right here are mounted to a little metal piece that the Z's have right here up front and we have about 20 of them we don't have a ratchet no drill only this freaking rat uh, wrench right here do we have a screwdriver Pizza. all right we're ready we're about to release it Woo. This right here is the OEM headlights for the Nissan Z. And this is going to be replaced with the Alpha Rex new aggressive headlights, which we need to bring out. I'm going to set this aside right now. Welcome, people. Come on in. In the last episode, we finished installing the heat exchanger. Now, before we can put back the bumper in and dial everything in, we got to make sure we put in the new headlights we got. So let's head on to the table over here. We got the new Alpha Rex in right here. Alpha Rex new aggressive headlight. This is the OEM headlight right here. You see these circles? We don't like circles. Look. Might as well be a chick car. We don't want that. We want them aggressive stuff. So today, we swap them for the Alpha Rex. Uh, 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 uh. I need your help. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. yep, yep, yep. <laughs> ah! That was a struggle. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up. It's a box in a box. That's how Alpha Rex does it. Cause you gotta be an alpha just to open up the box. We already did an unboxing if you saw it on Instagram. We're gonna do it another one for you. Check this out. Woo! Look at this aggressive alpha DRL right here. Look how alpha that is. You see how this has one projector? This one has four. Four. The bigger, the more, the better. Almost looks better built than the OEM one, which is crazy. All right, guys. So I know I showed you the unboxing. It wasn't really an official one because I already unboxed it for Instagram and I already showed you how to install it but this is an official I want you to because some of you guys are like what about the packaging how does it come packaged well let me show you this is an actual unboxing this is brand spanking new so you'll open it you'll be greeted by some lovely styrofoam you take this off carefully and then very so you go yeah. it's just a baby and then you think oh it's just a plastic on top Oh, you're not even ready for what's about to come. Ah, you just broke that man's neck. Anyways, once you take off the plastic, then you have this final lining. You want to do the honors? Look at that. Hopefully we caught that audio because let's slap this on. We already removed the headlights. Not much to the install. Very easy. Before we continue, do not miss this step. Also a very important step before you actually install your headlights, you will have this bracket right here. This is for the bumper to attach. You have the tabs right here in the bumper. They go clipped on here. Don't forget to transfer this bracket from your OEM headlights to the new ones. They're only three bolts. I mean, yeah, three bolts, three screws, and just remove them and then transfer them up to your new headlight. So don't forget that huge part, okay? You want your bumper to clip, okay? Don't forget it. Plug and play right here. Look at that. There's a plug. Here's the OEM plug. Literally connect them. It can't get and you. It's gonna be super hard for you to mess it up. So let's go ahead. Put your twizzle little fingers back there. Okay, we're just gonna put a bolt here, just one. But if you really wanna know where the bolts go, you get one here. You got another one up here, okay? Now this is my wide body kit. Yours will be the stock fender, but you will have one up here. You come over here, take a turn, 90 degree turn right here. You'll have another one here. Then you'll have one down there. That's four if you're counting. And then there's five in total. The last one is, uh, where's it? It's right here. My bad, there's three on the side. Yep. So that's your fifth bolt. But we're just putting one right now. We want to test it out. So. Can you see, can you back up and see the difference? That one's tinted. Can we remove the tint off this? Look how beautiful this is. We're gonna lock the car. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Can you dim it down? Dim it down for the folks in the back. 
Ready? Oh my god, that is way better. You see that animation? Wait, it turns white? Oh, it turns white. And then, and then what? Oh, and then it shuts off. They shut off at the same time. Well, duh, right? It's the same harness. So much better. Shoot. So that one's only one. Look, look how feminine this thing looks. Look at the circle. And it's just the top one, bro. This is boring. This is boring. Now this, this is alpha right here. Look at this. Both of them sequential. This is freaking badass. Still so their headlights? Yeah. Like daylight running. Adam headlights. Oh shit. Wait, why did it turn amber and then go white? What the hell? You're still doing that animation. But there's a feature on the Alpha Rex. You can switch your amber, your your DRLs to to amber. You can switch them to amber. We'll you, check another one. See if yeah. there's like a switch or something. Yeah. Oh. Maybe there's a switch or something. So you guys know we got the white DRLs and. I actually went to SEMA to see when they just released these headlights. Uh, three, what is his name? Three cities? Jordan. Jordan from Loglo. He has a wide body Nissan Z. He got the Alpha Rex headlights at SEMA. And he told me you can switch from orange DRLs to white. So I'm not entirely sure how that was possible. But my friend Cameron, we kind of opened it up a little bit. And there was like a little connector. Kind of like a separate module. We'll that's show just, you in a second. We'll, yeah, we'll show you. We'll show you. But let's see if it works. I'm talking out of my ass. Let's see if that was the key to, to this thing. Yep. Yep. We got it. They're orange. So how do you feel about that? You're pretty genius for that. Pretty genius. No, no, I'm saying, how do you feel about it? Oh, how do I feel about the orange? <laughs> I don't care that. Oh, uh, let me see. White or orange? Should we put the, should we install the other headlight and put yeah, that on white? Yeah, let's install the other headlight. Uh, then we can kind of compare. I mean, we were trying to compare the OEM one with the Alpha. The OEM one is just so cheeks, all right? So now we're going to compare white DRLs to amber DRLs. But let's show you how, how we did it, right? Yeah. This is how you switch your DRLs from amber to white when you guys receive your Alpha Rex new headlights for the Nissan Z. So you have this little box at the bottom, four Phillips screws, just remove it. And then I'll let my, my partner right here explain the rest. All right, so if you open it up, you'll see this wonderful uh, harness. And when you plug it together, this makes amber. And if you remove it, it is white. So amber, white, amber, white. You guys get the point. We'll leave it at white, so unplug. Yes, sir. There you go. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 2.17 a.m. Saw the headlight video. Um, these DRLs turn from amber to white you have the option to do that now the way you change the color is that underneath the headlight you'll have a box you do four phillips screws unscrew it and then you'll have a wire two wires you'll connect them if you want amber you'll disconnect them if you want amber easy as that right super simple the issue is when you put on your bumper there's no way of changing that color like that you would have to take your time to jack up the car, take off your wheels, the whole front bumper, remove the headlights, then you can have access to that and switch the colors, right? Really huge hassle. So, my brother Subzilla did this freaking amazing thing. Watch. There you go. So you turn on the headlights. Check this out. Right? They turn amber. Right? And the other ones are amber too, right? But check this out. Let's see if I can get across here without damaging too much of my car. So, check this out. You have a button right here. Instead of removing your bumper and everything across, you press one button, boom. One button, boom. One button, boom, which is freaking sick. So convenient with the touch of a button. Instead of removing your entire bumper, removing the tank, removing your headlights, uncovering the box and everything. Now, the reason why I'm not putting this front bumper is because when he told me to buy that module, I only bought one. And I thought it came in a pack of two, but it only came in a pack of one. So only we had enough to do a module for this headlight. We didn't have enough for that, but we ordered it ASAP and it should arrive today, later today. We got like literally less than 24 hour shipping. So we got that thing ordered ASAP.